I have been studying Mother's grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. No, there is much of interest within her writings, things I did not know. And one in particular I would never have suspected. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. Not unless one also happens to be an ancient abomination. No. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout chastened legend, yet I have never seen a one, and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. Indeed, that is primarily what this tome details, the various daughters that Flemeth has acquired, their preparation and training. I recognize all of it. I am to be her next host. This is my purpose. Whatever spark of the demon that made her what she is remains within her, keeps her from dying of old age, but her body deteriorates. Eventually, she would be so wizened as to be senseless and immobile. So, she must seek a new body, a fresh body, and start the cycle anew. I am uncertain. According to her writings, certain hosts are better than others. The more a host is prepared, the quicker the transition will be. I am sorry. This simply takes me by surprise. I would have thought I would have had some inkling, some notion. Flemeth is capable of many things. I was a fool not to suspect her capable of using me for her own self-preservation. I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said, the Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. Not by any natural means. Perhaps I should take this as a vote of confidence from her on my capabilities? Or perhaps she simply wished me gone from the Kokari Wilds so she could prepare her ritual in peace. A disturbing thought. There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. And what would that do? At best, I would receive pointless reassurances. At worst, Flemeth would imprison me once she became aware I know what I do. I know my mother well enough to be confident she would show no mercy when it came to her own survival. I must do the same. It may seem so. If you think of Flemeth as a mother, think of her instead as an ancient abomination that intends to use her own flesh and blood to extend her life beyond all natural limits. She did not wish anyone to get a hold of this information, least of all me. Now I have. If I do not act on what I know, then more the fool am I. Because if she is slain while I am near, I am not certain that she will not simply be able to take possession of me right there. So obviously I cannot be the one to do it. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. Confront her and slay her quickly. 
I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. Not really, but the sooner the better, no? <laughs> she would like everyone to think she is invincible, but I highly doubt that is the case. And besides that, you are not truly killing her. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. Fellow traveller of the Fair Lands, are you a seeker, perchance? My packs are light, but I have a tome of strange origin. The Deus V. Eternus, rumoured to be the last message to a sinful world from the Maker himself. Ah, will the wonders of this all too small a land never cease? Well, they will for you. Get them! Enemies approaching! Shall be done. And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Why dance at all? Why not sing? <laughs> what has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? That she does. The question is, do you? Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? The truth, as if it were nothing. How like a man. No, no. Far better the lie. Far better the comfort of blankets and shadows, and a mother's love. Morrigan wishes my grimoire? Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. We believe what we want to believe. It's all we ever do. 
I go. Perhaps I surprise Morrigan one day. Or I may simply watch. It would be interesting to see what she does with her freedom. Enlightening, even. Would you give an old woman that? Shame. What will it be, then? It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Let us see if she remembers the steps. Come. She will earn what she takes. I'd have it no other way. You have returned from the wilds, alive. 
What news have you? Dead. You actually managed it? I barely dared to hope twas even possible. And the real grimoire? Did you find it? And so here it is. Fantastic. And thank you for helping me. No one has ever... Thank you. Oh, we are hopefully free of any further pressing obligations involving my protection. Let us return to the road, shall we?